thing again because I know it can. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass here, Straven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we just took a small tour of a million city and then got ourselves a new Persian for five, uh, yeah, five freaking uh, Growlets. And one of those Growlets, I actually put them on my team, renamed them Butt Kiss. If you guys don't remember Pokemon uh, Liquid Crystal, I did have that Pokemon on my team. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon. Persian, a normal type Pokemon, pretty fast Pokemon right here, as it has Fake Out, Taunt, Payday, and Faint. Not going to use this guy on our team, but it is a, a very nice Pokemon to actually have on, uh, you know, in your collection right here. So now, let's see, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to be switching out Pokemon right here because still don't want to use Mew. I kind of want to use Butt Kiss right here. But I kind of want to teach it a few new moves. That way it will be covered in all that crud. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it, it's got headbutt. Scald. Dig. It can learn dig. Screw it. Let's teach it dig just as a cover up right here for the time being. So let's go ahead and use dig attack. And what will we replace? It learned it knows flamethrower. Okay. So this is going to be a very good Pokemon on our team. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go. Let's take care of business right now. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are going straight to the SSN, and well, we got our ticket. Homeboy's gonna list, look at us. He's gonna be like, Welcome to the SSN! But not so fast! Do you have a ticket, young fellow? Yes, I do. Dot dot dot. Yep, that'll do. Welcome to board to the SSN. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest to join us aboard, so the SSN today. So, here you go. Please enjoy the breezy outfit as you feel the salty air in your skin. So, we get ourselves a sailor uh, set. So, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to change into that. Since we're going into the SSN, let's go right ahead and do that. I think we need to change the threads a little. Let's go with the clothing trunk. And... Alright, so hats... Let's go with that. Looking uh, pretty uh, spiffy right here. And a Sailor T. Look at that. Okay, so now let's go to Draven right here. That's me. And let's go with a Sailor Cap. Hey, I didn't know I have a Pikachu Cap right there. There we go. And Outerwear. Sailor Top. It could be Sailor Moon too. If I wanted to. Look at that. And Choose. The Choose. We're putting that on. And the bag, the sailor bag. What, it look, what does it look like? I, I don't know. And that is pretty much it. So, look at that. Look at that. We're matching. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Rocking the sailor uh, suit. I shall call myself Sailor Earth. Not really. And look at that. It is a beaut. I wonder if we could find that, uh, you know, legendary, that legendary truck that says that it has Mew. We'll find out soon. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you are, Draven. What you doing, bud? Thanks again for the ticket. This ship is huge and full of trainers. Bonjour, if it isn't Draven and Trace. Oh, God. This guy. Didn't think I'd, see, I'd be seeing you two here. Hey, Blue. Are you taking a cruise? Not hardly. I got invited to an exclusive party for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with the scene. I got plenty of uh, party favors too. Here, I can even share uh, one with you. And we get ourselves a Shalur Sable from Blue. I don't know what that is. More importantly though, you want to know what I got overheard at the party? You guys know about Team Rocket, right? Uh, yeah, I battled them before. Seriously? You must be fearless or something, kid. Anyway, at the point, the point is. Team Rocket is a dangerous group, and they are trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might be, I might do some digging into uh, what they, what it is they are really after, and you two, and you two better uh, stay out of their path. Look at that! I'm flipping you off, Blue. I am flipping you off. Okay, so that is that. Talk to Trace here, and he's like, Team Rocket, huh? Draven, if you get tangled up with those jerks again, you should call me. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I don't. I don't need you, buddy. I can handle him by myself now. Talk to this guy right here. 
the, pe uh, the passengers here are, are restless after being out on uh, the sea so long. You might get challenged by those ones, uh, the, by the some, uh, the, some of the really bored ones. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be battling a buttload of trainers, collecting items. Look at this. She's pretty. You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? Look at that. This is exactly where you take that rest. Now, let's get the heck out of here and start taking care of business, like, right now. Like, right now, right now. Like, right now. And here we have an individual looking at the sea. You insolent pup! How dare you barge in! Damn. Shouldn't have barged in like that. So here we go, another battle. Gentleman Arthur. Arthur Reed from Arthur the Cartoon. You guys remember that one? And he will be coming out with his own Growlithe right here. Alright. Maximum effort. He's got a level above me, but guess what? I got the dig attack. Pure advantage. Plus I got flamethrower too. All right, let's dig our way into a uh, tunnel, and uh, this guy's trying to locate us. And here we go. Dig attack for the... Oh, wow. Almost beats him. So let's try this again. Another dig. We're going to take another hit. It's no biggie. Look at that. So here we go. Another dig attack. Come on, Buckus. Do it. Now, if you guys are wondering why I named my Growlithe Buckus... Very simple. If you guys ever watched the Rocky movies, Rocky 1 and 2, he did, he did have a dog named Buckus, so I named it after that Pokemon, or that dog. And I think around that time when I was playing Pokemon Liquid Crystal, yes, I think, I think I, I watched Rocky around that time. Let's see. I wish I, I wish to be left alone. Get out. Jeez. What a grouch. Okay. Let's go right here, and this guy is just laying on his bed. Staying in bed doing nothing during my much-awaited cruise trip. Ah, what a luxury. Okay, that's pretty cool. Thought he was getting ready for something else, but, uh, you know, who am I to, you know, who am I to judge a man who is, uh, you know, trying to rest for his luxury trip? And I'm going to be laying, I'm going to be laying on my stomach while I'm doing this right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and go to the other area right here. And let's put this right here. And there is a beauty waiting for us. You can tell she's been waiting for us. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Buckus has done a very good job. So, let's go to Smasher. And let's get this started. Oh, wow. She didn't want to battle. Let's see. Hello? Waiter, yes! You, waiter! I need a slice of cake. The finest custard cake you have. Ah, oh, crud. Of course, I'm wearing a sailor suit, so of course I'm going to look like a, a waiter or something. It's not pretty cool right there. So let's go into the next room right here. And wow, we got a Wigglytuff. Holy crud. I didn't know it was that big. Look at that. It's a big fucking Pokemon right there. I always travel with Wigglytuff. I never leave home without it. Kind of like my, my, my niece. She never leaves uh, home with her puppy Pokemon or whatever. A word or a world cruise is, is so ugly and nice, elegant, <laughs> elegant. Okay, so let's go right here, and well, there are trainers waiting for us. Finally, let's get into this action right here. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Okay, bring it, sister, bring it. So here we are, challenged by Nikki. And she wants to say she wants to come out with her Pidgey right here. Look at that. All right, let's go, Smasher. We definitely have the advantage because we are ground type Pokemon. We are big and strong, and we will not be affected. But here comes that quick attack. Let's go, body slam. That's right, John Cena her ass. So let's try this one more time. And body slam for the win. Look at that. Pretty good Pokemon right there, huh? Alrighty, more points for everybody, and here she come, coming out with a Pikachu, but I'm going to stay put because, yeah, electric type attacks will not work on me, so let's go right ahead and use another Body Slam. That's right. Oh yeah, this Pikachu has no chance, but of course he's going to be using Double Team. Ah, crud. Okay, so it's evasiveness now. It's big. It's strong, but here we come with the body slam, and it avoided an attack. Good God! 
Okay, she's trying to be strategic magic. Alrighty. Let's try it one more time. Body slam. Damn it! Okay, so now now it now it's getting on my nerves right here. Alright. Let's try something different. Poison sting. Ah, damn it. And here comes that double kick. Ah, crud. So right now it has an evasiveness, uh if, if, well, the the advantage right there, and wow, it's kicking our butt. There we go, poison sting. Eat that. <laughs> That's right. You ain't that strong, Pikachu. Don't tell that to my Pikachu. And yes, she ain't so happy after all. Oh, uh, they look so good when they're mad. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon yet again. Now uh, let's go ahead and and try out our newest Pokemon, Leonardo, right here. But before we can get that item, Homeboy here is like, I love Pokemon, do you? Yes, I do. Why do you think I'm playing this game? It's not for it's not for show, it's just, you know, I love Pokemon. So here we go, going up against uh, little Tyler, coming out with his Mankey, and I'm going to be coming out with Leonardo right here. Let's go, Leonardo. Time to do it. Alrighty. So let's go with Le Bubble Attack. And of course, Karate Chop hits us first, but here comes that bub today. Yeah, buddy. Okay, we gotta slow this Pokemon down just a little. All right, Karate Chops again with critical hits, and nearly defeats this Mankey. So let's try one more Le Bubble. And yes, this Fury Swipes attack only does me damage twice. Here we go again, and there you go. Alrighty. Okay. And there you go. No more Tyler. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what this item's all about. Get ourselves a paralysis heal, which is good. And if you talk to this lady, haha, <laughs> we're cruising around the world, my children and I. Yeah, well, your children are brats. That's all I gotta say. They are brats. Alrighty. So moving on forward right here. What can we find? Another gentleman. So, he might have a Growlithe. Actually, you know what? This is actually a good thing. I do have potions. A, a crap load of potions. I should, you know, I, I, I do have crap load of potions. So, let's give some to Leonardo right here. Alrighty. Butt kiss as well. It's really good to have butt kiss on a, like, a real game right here. Except for like a fake game such as uh, Liquid Crystal. And, let's see. Shh. I'm an agent for an international police! I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to no good! Okay, well... You know, you had my hopes all the way up. Jerk. Okay, now, let's see. Bonjour! I'm Lee Witte. Is his ship? I will be happy to serve you anything ple you please. da 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 dot. Ah, the strong and silent type, Treban. Okay, alrighty. Yes, I am the strong and silent type. Well, not right here. I'm very vocal. And here we are in the kitchen. Of course, you will be finding some items, probably. Let's see. Pikachu's tail is not wagging. There it is. Snivel Sniff. I only get to peel onions. Alright. Uh, yeah, this guy is not letting us grab anything. And there's an item right here somewhere. Right here. Hmm. Huh. Okay. There we are. Finally. Okay. So, it's like trying to look for that poke or that item. And um, <clears throat> indeed, I am the chef. The main course today is the Cantonian flavor of future crunchies. The guess will mutiny. I fear. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a good a good meal. So let's go ahead and grab. Not that. God dang it. Let's go ahead and grab this item right here. Found ourselves a super repels. The complete opposite of what lures are, and god dang it, keep on pushing this button right now. Alright, nothing in the trash cans. So, let's get the heck out of here and uh, continue our quest for finding more items, free shit, you know, that kind of stuff. And, well, here I go, running around everywhere because I can. And, well, there is a downstairs to this place, so let's go ahead and visit this uh, downstairs area. Pretty sure we're gonna find a lot of Pokemon trainers around here. And we do, I think. Probably, I don't know. 
My partner Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to even shove big rocks out of the way, as if they were nothing. That is true. Look at the look at the look at those like look at that upper body. Look at the biceps. Look at those forearms. Look at the chest. Jesus, if I had a body like a uh, Machoke, holy crud, be invincible and all that stuff. So let's go into the next room right here. And yes, we do have a a sailor. I probably I would assume. So we're gonna be smooth, or we're gonna be moving and going with Sparky right here. All right, let's see what you got. You know what they say about sailors? We're all itching for a fight after ages to, at the sea. Alrighty, here we go, another Pokemon battle, and this time Sailor Leonard. And yes, I was correct. He was gonna come out with a Water type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and uh, use a uh, Sparky. Now I do have another Electric type attack here. Let's go, Thunderbolt! Alrighty, here comes that Thunderbolt. Bam! Oh yeah, yeah. Sl Slowpoke wasn't going to survive that one. Yeah, it was screwed. And Leonard has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. He's just laughing his ass off. Okay, alrighty. So that was easy, I guess. I think this is the area where the sailors live or are hanging out. That guy's a electrician, I think. So let's go right ahead and possibly switch Pokemon right here. I'm assuming he might have like a Magnemite, so let's go with Budkiss. Finally use its flamethrower. Let's see. I like feisty kids like you. Okay, let's go. Bring it on. Alrighty, so here we go. Engineer Dylan, and he will be coming out, of course, with his Magnemite. Yeah! Alrighty, let's do this. Buckus. Alright. Time to use the attack that made you famous. Let's go with a flamethrower attack right here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Buckus, one of my favorite Pokemon here. Alright, it's gonna be coming out with another Magnemite. No problem. Buckus got this. Alright, it's a really cool thing that I caught this Pokemon. It was probably the biggest uh, Growlithe that I caught. And it has a very good moveset. Very, very good moveset. Look at that. Oh, yes. Buckus. Kicking butt, taking names. That's my little puppy Buckus. Alrighty. Let's see. You're alright, kid. You're going to grow up into an amazing adult. Which I kind of am right now. And look at that. We found ourselves an elixir. Always nice to have one of those. And now, let's go right ahead and uh, find something else right here. Yep. Oh, here we go. Now, playing this game over and over and over again in different generations, you kind of get a, you kind of get a feel of what Pokemon they may have. So, yeah. Right here. Even sailors have Pokemon. You don't say. All right, sailor. Let's see what you got. Sailor Huey wants the battle. And of course, he will be coming out with his Psyduck right here. Look at that. Alright, Pikachu in its sailor suit. Let's get this. Zippy Zap. Two very good electric type attacks right there. And yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy right there. Look at that. And of course, like I mentioned before, guys. Battling doesn't really get you a lot of experience points. It's the catching of the Pokemon. So, if you guys are wondering why we're not really growing levels here, it's mainly because of that. It's the name of the title. Let's go. <laughs> and, yes. Poliwag has been defeated. I feel good about myself. And Huey. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so there's a Pokeball right there found ourselves a super potion okay alrighty let's move on and uh, well let's go right here all right so there is a fisherman let's go ahead and have him try and take us on hello stranger I can't tell if you are from the seas or the mountains but stop and chat all my Pokemon are from the sea you shouldn't have done that alrighty let's go Taking on Fisherman Barney. And yes, he's coming out with his Goldeen right here. Which again begs the question. If a female Goldeen evolves into a Sea King, shouldn't it be called Sea Queen? Comment down below, guys. 
I know that I've been asking this since Pokemon Yellow, but it's a serious question. And look at that. Goldeen defeated. Oh, yes. He's kicking ass, sick of names, feeling good. Leonardo at level 19. So is Mew. And, well, Hor Horsey's coming out. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's give it a good a shock treatment. Thunder Thunderbolt. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. That's right. Look at that. Alright, Pikachu kicking butts. <laughs> He's like, I let that get away. Yeah, kinda. Probably. I don't even know. Just kicked your butt pretty easily. Okay, so that was the bottom floor right there. Now, we're going to be going upstairs uh, to take a look at, uh, well, everything else in between. I think we've already visited most of these chambers. But before we go anywhere, let's go back into this room and get a little bit of healing from this lady. Because, yes, it's always good to take advantage of the ladies, or not the ladies, but the people that help you out with uh, healing and stuff. So, let's go right ahead and uh, continue our quest in here. Alrighty, look at that. I'm running good strides. Just like an athlete. Going in here. And look what we find. This guy. This ship! She's a luxury diner or liner that Pokemon trainers the world uh, over love to ride on. Every time we pull into a port, we have to we have a fancy party to and invite all the best trainers to attend. This is uh wow. It's pretty cool. Um okay, so let's go here first. And is there anything? Let's see. Our captain is a sword master. He's awesome at using chop down. They say he'll teach his move to anyone who shows potential. Yeah, okay, all right. We uh, okay, so that's a good uh, that's a good indication that we're close, I guess. And Pikachu right here is loving the sight. Look at this guy. He's just running away. He's excited. Oh my god. It seems like Sparky wants to see what's uh, up ahead in the ship. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what's up ahead. And before we do anything, this guy has to stop us. Ahoy there! Do you not get seasick on ships? Probably. I don't know. I've never been on a ship before, guys. Really. Okay, so Sailor Trevor wants the battle. And here comes a, a seal. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Zippy zap. For the win... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was a clean hit right there for Pikachu. And, well, 116 points. Smasher grows to level 22. And he's coming out with a Machop. So, let's go ahead and switch. Let's go straight to Scyther right here. Haven't used Scyther in quite some time. Foo. Let's go ahead and use this Pokemon. It's been... You know, this is the first time I'm using Scyther in any capacity. So... Might not be a permanent team member, but it will be, you know, I will take advantage of the fact that, hey, I, can, I actually use the Scyther on my team, and look at that. Wing attack, does it sting? Scyther kicks ass, takes names. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, let's go up ahead right here. Pikachu is just looking. Look at that. Look at what everything looks like. You guys over the wide open sea together with Sparky. Look at that. And he and yeah, Sparky seems to really seems really happy. What a good boy. All right, so let's see. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Came out for some air because I got seasick. Oh, well, weak of stomach. And here we have another trainer. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Okay, alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take on Sailor Edmund here. And, well, he's coming out with his poly swag. Or poly wag. Look at this, okay. Alright, Pikachu, do your thing. Let's go, a Thunderbolt attack. Finish him off. Look at that. Thunderbolt. Yes, easy Pokemon to defeat. Pikachu kicking butt, taking names, robbing your hearts everywhere. And Sailor Edmund has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, alright. Okay, so let's see. Let's talk to this guy. 
The party's winding down. It's about time for the ship to sit sail. Yeah, well, that is true. Alright, so let's go to the final part of this ship right here. The most important part where, you know, you'll find a few trainers, good items, but most importantly, the chop down, to chop down technique. And here we have this individual. He's going to be like, I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was a massive, huge round Pokemon. Uh, you mean Snorlax? Because I seem to have it on my team somehow. Yeah, that's right. I have Tank on my team. Not going to use him, but still, you know, very good Pokemon to actually have and all that stuff, probably. All right, let's go into the next room right here. And, well, here we have another sailor or fisherman. And he's going to be, check out what I fished up. All right. Bring it. So here we go. Fisherman Dale Gribble wants the battle. Coming with the oh, crud. Magikarp. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Zippy Zap. For the win. Yep. Not a very interesting Pokemon to actually take on right here. So there we go. Zippy Zap. Makes it golden for a while. And yeah. For the win. Suck it. Alrighty. Okay. And I'm feeling good. Great. Awesome. Let me go home. Okay. Um, nothing right here. There is a Pokeball right behind him, so I'm going to grab that. And we found ourselves a revive. A nice item again. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. And I don't think these guys want to battle. Small trees can be chopped down by the masterful secret technique chop down. Hmm. It's not cut anymore. I've seen Pokemon ferry ac uh, people across the water. I really have. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so moving on forward right here. I don't think there's going to be more trainers. Nope, there's trainers. All right, time to switch out. Let's see. Let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's go with Smash right here. All right, what's up, gentlemen? Competing against the youth keeps me youthful. Okay. Oh, God, I got to move around here. All right, so here we go, gentlemen. Oh my God, G gentleman Brooks. I, I do love the way how he's just like he's he's feeling his mustache right here, and look at that. All righty, let's go. Let's see, body slam. Look at this body slam. Get on top of that ponyta. And well, there's a f amber attack. Doesn't really work on my Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead one more time. Body slam. For the win! Suck on those lemons, Ponyta. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Brooks has been defeated. <laughs> Man, they have the best sprites right here, I think. Alright, so I'm assuming this guy has a fire-type Pokemon, so let's go with Leonardo. And let's see what he's going to say. Which do you find the more worthy, a strong Pokemon or a rare one? I like them both. But then again, a strong and rare Pokemon are one and the same, I would have to assume. So here we go, Gentleman Lamar. Look at his pose right there. I'm going to have that pose one of these days when I'm an older gentleman. And look at that. Coming out with a Sandshrew. Speaking of Sandshrew, I think we could capture one. I've always wanted one on my team. Probably should do that. I think we can do that. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. But look at this. Bubble attack does its thing. And here comes that spell. Poison Sting Attack and Crud Baskets. I am poisoned. Ah, oh, Jeebus. Okay. Two can play at that game. So let's go right ahead and use the Bubbly Attack. And, of course, gentlemen, they're somewhat rich, so they're going to be using a full Restore right here. So let's go right ahead. Full Bubble Attack. Yeah. And it speed lowers. That is good. But we're still getting hurt by Poison. Alrighty. Let's go again. Bubble attack. Let's get this. Come on. Bubble. For the win. Yes, sir, Rebob. We're taking care of that business right there. Oh, yes. And Lamar has been defeated. I've taken three of its Pokeballs. And let's grab this. Found ourselves another nugget, which eh, very useful. So now, let's go right ahead and... Let's see. Medicine box... There's an antidote. 
And look at that. Leonardo is now healed. See, I'm a very caring Pokemon trainer. I always make sure that my Pokemon have the best. And let's see. This guy right here, he's going to be like, Have you been to the Go Park Complex in the Fuchsia City? There are many rare Pokemon there. This is true. I've been there quite a few times. Me and my daddy love the Go Parks. I wish we could go there again. Which we will eventually. We're going to showcase it. And I'm going to show you guys how to move Pokemon here and there. You know, a good episode and all that stuff. And here's the final room. The captain said he's awfully sick. He was looking all pale too. Hmm. I hear it really. Uh, I hear it's really common. People keep getting seasick. That's it. Okay. Well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon because we kind of know what's gonna happen right here. Let's move right here and well, let is go straight to the prof or not the professor but the captain. And here's Trace. How in the hell did you get up there? Hey, Draven, over here. You see those stairs there? The captain's quarters are up there. He can teach you this cool secret technique if you ask him. He's really he's really famous for it. Dot dot dot. Though he looked pretty done in by uh, done in by seek sickness when I saw him. Hey, before you go and meet him, how about I take a look at uh, and see how you've been uh, raising your Pokemon, huh? Okay, alrighty. So here we go with another battle with the annoying look of uh trace right here I really hate the way it looks just annoying here he comes with the Pidgeotto and uh, well let's go Sparky let's finish this guy off bird type Pokemon or nothing let's go Thunderbolt and of course he's gonna be hitting us first just because of quick attack but guess what got myself Thunderbolt finish him yes that's right yes oh my god and look at that. Grows to level 24. I am feeling awesome about this. And he wants to learn Slam. Hmm. Well, Slam. Let's see. Yeah, not going to happen. Doesn't really have a very good physical attack. So I'm just going to keep the old moves right there. And, well, all my other Pokemon are growing levels, including Scyther. And, well, he's about to send out, send out Eevee. Let's go right ahead and uh, introduce him to Smasher right here. I do, I do believe Smasher knows this Eevee. Not going to be a problem, right? So here we go. Smasher looking uh, pretty uh, spiffy. And here's that pre-pre. Let's go. Double kick. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And, yeah, what is Bite going to do at me at all? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So let's go. Double kick. Oh, yes. Finish him. Yeah, this guy had no chance. Just keep on evolving your Pokemon. I dare you. Look at that. And he's coming out with an Oddish. I got the remedy for that one. Time to introduce my newest Pokemon, Budkiss. Oh, yeah. Budkiss is a pretty awesome Pokemon right here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Loyal as fuck. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Flamethrower. For the win. And this Oddish has survived. So here comes with its, its uh, acid attack. Nearly takes us out. So one more time. Flamethrower. For the win. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And look at that. Buckus grows to level 18. It's a good start. Good Pokemon. Good boy. And, well, we have defeated Trace. He's like, I can't believe it. You better believe it, buddy. Because it's going to keep on happening throughout this whole walkthrough. Whooping that candy ass. Wow, Draven. You, you've gotten pretty strong. Uh, oh, nothing. That's cool. Anyway, go meet the captain and uh, have him show you his secret technique. All right. Okay, let's go. All right, so as you can see, the captain right here, he's throwing up. Ooh, oh, I feel terrible. Ugh, this sickness, seasickness, has done me in. Rub the captain's back. There, there, old fellow. Whew, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. So, what did you want from me? Oh, you wanted to learn my secret technique? 
Of course, I'd be happy to teach it. Come along with me. And Pikachu's looking all happy here. Ha ha ha! That Pikachu looks more ready to learn my secret technique. But I'm afraid it's really only for humans. Pikachu's like, what's this? You really want to, uh, to try and learn it, no matter what? Well, color me surprise. I've traveled all over this wide world, and this is the first time I've had a Pokemon want to learn my secret technique. But with a spirit like that, well then, who am I to say no? I'll teach my special te uh, secret technique even, I I uh, even to your that Pikachu of yours. Come with me, little friend. Okay, now watch carefully. <laughs> and of course, Pikachu learns Chop Down. Not going to interfere with your regular moves, but it will actually help you chop down, uh, you know, big old trees like that. Whoa! I really went and learned, uh, it really went and learned Chop Down. Using Chop Down, your Pokemon will be able to uh, help you chop uh, thin trees. You could give it a try, huh? That's right. How about the trees around Vermilion City? Whew. Now I guess it's about time for the SSN to set sail again. This may be goodbye for now. Until the next time we return to Vermilion City. Okay. Alrighty. So, how do we access? Uh, how do we access Chop Down? All you have to do is go straight to play with you know your Pikachu or whatever you nicknamed it, and right there. It's a little happy. Look at that. This Pokemon is so cute. And then you go to Secret Techniques right here. As you can see, we got one. And it learns three more right there. Or no, four more. So eventually, it's going to have a whole plethora of good moves that will actually benefit you. Just definitely, like, it takes away all the the HM, the not, ne not so necessary moves, like HM moves, like Fly, Surf, and all that stuff. It helps us out a lot, guys. Trust me. So, I think that's pretty much it for the SSN. I think we've already... You know, we've already uh, looked over everything, and everything seems all right, I guess. And well, it is time to set sail for ourselves. Look at that! Gonna be going in there. It is dark, and look at that! Look at that! <laughs> look at that! That seems like a good avatar right there. Look at that! Oh my god, that was a good cut screen right there. Okay, so uh, that is pretty much it right there. I've, well, now that we got chopped down, this guy right here is going to be like, well, he notices that we have chopped down. But we're going to be doing something a little bit different right here, guys. Now that we have chopped down, I think it enables us to actually go back to Pewter City. Probably, I don't know could be wrong. I don't necessarily want to battle the gym leader right now, because he is kind of over-leveled. So in the next episode, I'm going to figure it out right now, guys. But then, in, until then, you'll, you'll see where I'm going to be going with this. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.